Hi. So this morning, Jack and I were supposed to get on a 6.10 a.m. flight to Charlotte from Syracuse. I had set the alarm. Well, apparently I didn't set the alarm because I woke up at 6 a.m. with our flight taking off. We were not there. We were home dead asleep. And I, I had one of those moments where my alarm went off at 6 and I woke up and I was like, oh my God, who am I? And where am I? Because I'm supposed to be on a plane right now to Charlotte. So what, what happened? What did I do? I screwed up. <clears throat> and I panic. And you know in that like haze of when you just wake up and you don't know what to do? Hi, Mom. Yeah, telling the story, Mom, of how I'm not there right now. But you know when you wake up in that haze and you're like, this does not compute. How is it six in the morning and I'm in bed because I'm supposed to be on, hi Megan, I'm supposed to be on a flight right now. And so my brain was really fuzzy. <clears throat> now, my husband got these tickets for me. I guess he used points to get them. So I'm like, I don't even know what to do. I called him. He's in Ireland. What the hell am I thinking he's going to do? But he's like, call Delta. They'll help you. And now I'm just upset because... <clears throat> I know these were like expensive tickets and they were hard to get. And what is it going to be like to get on another flight because it's the traveling week here? I was really like panicking about how I was going to fix this problem. Also, I'm not thinking clearly because it's 6 a.m. It's black as night out there and I am like in my pajamas. And so I do. I call the lady. I know that it's OK. Thanks, mom. Uh, I call the lady and she was so nice to me and I was like upset. I was crying because I didn't know if there was a solution. And I wanted to tell you the story. <clears throat> it would cost me $150 to get on another flight. Jack and I are leaving here in 10 minutes to go to the airport. But I wanted to tell you the story because I think that people think that I have my shit together all the time and I want to make it clear I do not have my shit together all the time. I'm constantly working on having my shit together, but I really work on managing and mastering my time. The mistake that I made was I set the alarm, but I didn't hit the little button that turned it on. So it's in there for 4.32 this morning, but it, it wasn't turned on. So <clears throat> I'm curious what you would have done in this situation. Would you have beaten yourself up all day? Would you have been really mad at yourself? Would you have been mad that you had to spend $150? And I wanted to kind of share the thought turnarounds that I had to do because I'm not kidding. I was on the phone crying with the woman and she's like, honey, it's okay. We can fix this. And she did. She took care of it. Um, but the old me would still be beating myself up. I would be mad that I had to spend $150 extra on something that is a waste of money because of my mistake. Um, I don't know if Jack and I are going to get to sit in the same seats together. Like there's a bunch of things that I screwed up basically. And I would have been beating myself up all day. And instead I hung up with her after I paid the $150 that we are on this flight. It's only several hours. Well, it's a it's this afternoon. My family has been lovely about it. My mom is like, it's okay. I probably won't get to see my mom now because she leaves for someplace else. And <clears throat> she was actually very nice about that. And my other family, hi, hi, Holly. My other family who I'm seeing when I was down there, they're just like, it's okay. Shit happens. Literally everybody's response was shit happens. And it made me think about how many times in my life I've worried about things for other people. Like, will other people be upset about this mistake that I made? And so I wanted to come on and share with you uh, what I did was I, I texted everybody. I waited till a reasonable time, but I texted everybody. I said, here's the mistake that I made. And I thought about what if I had lied? What if I had told them, oh, the flight got canceled or we were stuck in traffic or if we had. But, but, I, but I'm like, why would I lie? Then I have to just follow up the lie with more lies and also keep track of lies, which I'm terrible at keeping track of anything like that. So I told the truth. None of them were mad and none of them actually even called me a moron, which I thought was pretty nice because I was a moron, but <clears throat> everybody was really generous. And so I decided to be generous with myself. And all I wanted to get on here today and say to you was this is a busy time of year where we are all stressed out and we're going to drop a ball or two along the way. And can you be kind to yourself? Can you look for the gift here? How did this happen for you rather than to you? And today I got a whole day back. Jack got a whole day to sit on a couch and play his Madden football. He's very happy that I let him just be on his screen. And I wrote my entire marketing plan for the next two months. 
How awesome is that? So I'm sad that I'm not in Charlotte yet, but I will be there and it will be great. But now I can go there free because I got a whole bunch of shit done today that I needed to do. If you like this idea of getting a handle around your time, come join me in my six week free group. It's an accountability group to teaches you one little nugget every day. Today's nugget is actually really good. I highly recommend that you get in there and see today's nugget. But if you get in there and there's like a lot going on for you, you don't have to catch up. It's not a course. It's not a workshop. It's not like first you do this, then you do this. It's a little nugget each day and it will help you get through the holidays with your sanity and maybe with yourself intact because that's what my whole goal for you is. I hope that's your goal for yourself. So if you like this content, feel free to subscribe to liking me or following me. Hi, Kelly Harris, I miss you, I need to see you, I think. Um, But my goal is for you to be nicer to yourself than you have been in the past and also to be nicer to yourself I guess what I want to say is expect that other people are going to be nice. Now, you know that there's people in your life who aren't going to be nice to you. That's okay. But people, most of the people want to be generous. And if you need somebody to be generous to you, reach out to me because I'm over here cheering you on knowing that you can do hard things and sucky things are going to happen and you can handle it. So before I go, I just want to say I put on some lip stuff here. I put on some like lip balm from Beauty Counter. And my son goes, why are you getting all dressed up to go on the airplane? I'm like, because I have chapped lips. But do you guys remember how like dressed up we used to get to go on an airplane? How it was like a big thing to go on an airplane? So I just wondered if anybody else is old enough to remember that. Um, Have a great Tuesday. I'm leaving for the airport. I'll catch up with you soon. Happy Thanksgiving if I don't see you before then. Thanks so much. Bye.